very good afternoon my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome to this new live trading video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking today's video I'm going to use the 20 pips a day strategy I am really aware this is one of the most uh, famous and beloved strategies and uh, everyone want to see more live trading using that strategy however the next uh, videos will be focusing more on Fibonacci and uh, Ichimoku's uh, trading style because I think we have given more uh, more than enough videos about 20 pips a day. Uh, of course, for those who have joined recently the channel, you can refer to my channel on YouTube, open the videos and you can find here, uh, if you scroll down, you can find this video here. It's named Forex Strategy 20 pips a day. This is where I, will, I have explained in a brief what strategy I'm going to use in this video, how we can use the daily and four hour chart time frames in order to decide our entries for buy or sell. Uh, you can follow it later with other videos where I have done already live trades using the same strategy of 20 pips. We can see it here in this video and this video as well. Uh, there are several videos, this one here, um, uh, this one right here, so many videos, I think more than seven or eight, even this one here and this one here. So uh, let's go back now to the platform and let's do some live trades. So let's start as usual with the pound and the D, which is actually my favorite pair for scalping. I really like it a lot because a small reversal can give you the 20 pips you are seeking, which remind me, <clears throat> I have to say, to say something really important. Uh, in these live trading videos, you will see me opening three or four or even five trades. However, it is called 50, uh, sorry, 20 pips a day strategy, meaning you need to aim only one trade. Only one trade per day, maximum two. But that's it. No more than two trades maximum, but I prefer really one trade. Uh, you have to wait for the market to give you that perfect, perfect setup you are waiting for. Enter it, get out with the profit, and close the platform. Avoid over trading because if you do that now, if you accept the 20 pips uh, a day, you will limit your profits to be 20 pips and you will also limit your losses in case they occur. So I'm just, uh, let's go back to the four hour chart and try to find something. Um, I'm really trying to find something right now in uh, front of you. Uh, this will be very helpful so we can know how difficult it is sometimes to find the perfect setup you are seeking. Let's take a look here. Something really interesting appearing on the AUD CAD. Uh, we can see clearly that we had here a previous support which has become here a resistance. So this is resistance number one. And right now the market is on resistance number two. Um, let me see how many pips we can expect from the reversal. Hmm. Not much, barely seven or eight pips only. It's not that much. It might not really giving me the target I'm seeking. However, I can do here a small trick because uh, let's go to back to the 30 minutes now. So if I entered my sell order right here, if I place sell right here, I need to exit my trade at the nearest support or resistance, which is actually right here. Or we can extend that little bit to this level right here. So this support is just like six or seven pips. Okay, sell order has been placed. Now, um, the trick here was which I'm going to do, since I want 20 pips from this trade, and I can see that this trade is gonna give me no more than six pips, I can simply open another trade. So by that, I will have at least uh, 12 pips from this trade, which is fair enough. So no need to be no need to get greedy. However, uh, in this scenario, since I have opened two trades, I need to also be very very careful if the trade will go against me, because now we have two trades open, not only one. So let me set a level where I can tell you clearly that you should close your trade with the loss. For example, since I have placed my trade right here on this resistance level, uh, it's not about the pips that will make me decide uh, if I should close with the loss because it's all about price, uh, price action. So you might tell me, okay, Salah, so you set your take profit to be 20 pips. How about your stop loss? Is it also gonna be 20 pips? Not necessarily. It's not about the pips again. 
it's about the price action so if I see a candle that's completely breaking out from this resistance level and if the candle closed like that like a bullish uh, breakout candle in this case I have to close the trade with the loss and wait for a better opportunity it depends on how what is the size of this breakout candle it might be a small one like here four pips only then I will close the trade with the loss it might be even 17 pips it all depends on the shape of the candle so that's why I really cannot give a clear answer how many pips is our stop loss anyway let me just set the, uh, set the take profit for the second one as well so right now we have the take profit set for these two trades uh, let's go back to the four hour chart uh, pound and ZD I'm really thinking the pound and ZD having something interesting uh, let's go to the 30 minute time frame to be honest with you frankly speaking I was planning to set my sell order right on the very same level right here because this level was also a strong resistance in the past also it was a support right here and right there so I think I have missed it to be honest with you I was outside the house and yeah we missed it uh, almost 14 pips we missed uh, taking this opportunity all right let's continue searching and this is the one we took let me see here no this one I'm ignoring because a uh, very simple reason this one have one two three four and now we are on the fifth attempt of this resistance that's why I'm just simply ignoring this setup same thing here we are right now on the fourth attempt of the resistance that's why I'm just ignoring uh, this one I will ignore it also because this is this is not the level where I want to place my sell or buy I will I, maybe I will place buy order if the candle will go down to this level of the support or if it will go up right here to this resistance however it is just in the middle and I, do, I really don't have time to wait for it this one also I'm ignoring the setup because we already have attempt number one of the resistance and here attempt number two and right now the market is on attempt number three if I see attempt number three I just cancel the whole setup waiting for better opportunity same here also so I just wanted to share with you the reason why I'm skipping a lot of these charts I'm just trying to find that one chart that is really completing all my strategy rules let's see this one uh, this one is falling down let's see on the left if there was any previous support or resistance so we can see that the support is actually right on this level right here and the market is still far away uh, 77 pips far from the falling to this uh, entry level that's why I'm just ignoring it uh, this one here as well the euro pound it is right now we have here the support level and here we have the resistance level and the market is kind of stuck in the middle between them uh, it is right now on a support level of course however how many attempts we have one two three attempts so it is ranging market right now for the euro pound that's why I am ignoring it uh, let's check out this fella here uh, let's go to the left what we can see here nothing yet here there is just a breakout candle it was a previous support good let's continue to see on the left what is uh, there oh we can see that it has a resistance right here hmm interesting I think we can place sell here yes and I have placed the sell again uh, the reason is if we look at the left we can see this breakout candles the candles breaking out from certainly seems a support level so looking here on the left we can see this is the support which has been breaking out so we need to look more to the left to find if this level was a resistance however look at that a strong resistance right here and we have the peak of the resistance right here and again it, uh, it was a resistance right here which was also a strong support so this entry level is actually very very good I'm happy with this entry um, it's really good yeah so let's set the take profit level which is gonna be the nearest resistance to this entry so since I have placed my trade right here where is the nearest resistance to this breakout candle aha uh -huh. it's right here because this is a resistance level 
that's why I set my take profit to be a little bit above it just to be safe if the market will reverse before reaching this the uh, previous resistance so we have now three trades opened uh, from two pairs only let me just uh, try to find some other setups again let's go back to the pound and ZD <laughs> my hand is itchy really I want to place a trade here uh, it's wrong time it's wrong time we have to wait for the market to reach this resistance yeah 15 pips more uh, then we can place uh, the sell for the pound and ZD oh let's check the pound AUD seems promising yeah right now I am on a resistance uh, zone perfect 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 like that so we can expect for the market actually it's not really safe to scalp the pound AUD at the moment uh, by selling even if you see it reach this level of the resistance why why is it not safe because this price action here this price action indicating that the market has bounced from this support here which was also a strong support in the past so this level of the support seems to be strong seems to be like the, like the market is reversing mm, I don't think it will go down I don't think so I believe it's gonna continue going more up until it hit this previous resistance and then it's gonna fall down but seeing this price action however indicating that the market seems to be going up therefore I'm avoiding selling the pound at the moment we need also to be logic when we pick our trades don't just enter it based on any support or resistance you see that is not correct euro usd euro usd okay i just want to say that the euro usd seems to be falling down uh, i mentioned in my signal that the pound USD, the euro usd might fall to this support level before it starts reversing let me just be sure which level was it yeah this one here i mentioned that we had here a support and the euro usd might actually fall down to this support level before it starts being safe to start sell we need to wait for the euro usd to reach this level of the resistance that's why i think perhaps the market will reverse from this point of the support it will bounce and going all the way up and it will hit this resistance level uh, creating a head and shoulders and then we can start shorting the euro usd however this is this doesn't seem to be happening this week at all I think it will happen by next week only uh, I think the next week's uh, analysis for the uh, euro USD is gonna be the exactly same of uh, last week uh, of this week I mean sorry uh, let's continue digging more okay so it's already 12 minutes in the video only three trades has been open have been opened uh, let me now pause the recording and I'll be back to you once I find another trade all right looking at the euro at the USD GPY I see something really interesting we are on the top of the peak of this resistance level uh, let's check on the left what do we see here we see on the left that there was not really a strong uh, support here it was only a resistance level here followed by this breakout candle so uh, this resistance level which was also support in the past this resistance level is gonna keep its position as a resistance in the future that is what happened right now so we can see right here this is the top of this peak here as I mentioned so we had here now a resistance number one and right now the market seems to be approaching resistance number two uh, the resistance number two is already been performing right here we had here the first reversal and right now the market is creating the second reversal so it's gonna be the double top and creating a resistance number two so that is like two pips uh, away from the target I think it's gonna be safe to to start selling the USD GPY right now one thing I need to mention <clears throat> um, let me see how many pips is that gonna give me about 10 pips because if I place my sell here I should exit at the nearest uh, support which is exactly right here uh, let's go crazy let's do the exactly same thing we did with the AUD CAD place another trade and set another take profit believe me it's not advisable it's not advice thing to do uh, it's not thing I really want uh, everyone to do at all 
it's just uh, an idea how to get more pips from the trade however please please be careful if you will do the same because I'm just don't get to get more money from this uh, from these trades however if you are not uh, trained if you are not uh, having enough experience how to deal with the losses please don't do the same it's, uh, it's really risky I'm just sharing with you my daily uh, trading experience so again uh, 15 minutes in the video now we have uh, picked all of our trades uh, five trades in total from three pairs let me now pause the recording and I'll be back to you soon to show you what will gonna happen with all these trades all right my friends so all the trades have been in profit however uh, may I apologize I was not able to record uh, that moment when the trades have finished however these are all the trades you can see the USDGPY uh, it hit the take profit level it went down for almost 10 pips uh, we opened uh, two trades for the USDGPY then also uh, the NZDCHF it hit the take profit as well with almost 14 or 15 pips of profit then again for the AUD CAD it hit the take profit for almost uh, six pips two trades meaning a total of 12 pips and we can see that the pair kept going down for almost 25 pips so however it was a good session uh, again my apologies because I was not able to record the moment when we closed the trade with the profit um, it was really a good day good uh, trades however uh, more videos will be coming very soon and this time uh, I think the next video will be using the Ichimoku and then we will focus again on each on Fibonacci because I believe that that is uh, one of the most important aspects that the members want us to focus on because trading using the Fibonacci is really really very good very profitable and I will show you that in the next uh, live trading video so until then I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching